I'm going to show you how you can remove roles and features from a Windows Server. So to start, I'm logged onto the Windows Server that I want to remove the role of the feature from. And then within Server Manager, we can come to Manage and then Remove Roles and Features. In the wizard, we can select Next, select the server that we want to remove the role and feature from, and then press Next. And then we can simply untick the roles or the features that we want to remove. So in this example, I'll remove DHCP. I'll unselect it and I'll select Remove Features and then click Next. I'll also remove the Azure Arc feature and then press Next. And then we can simply press Remove to remove the roles and features. This will then start the removal process and then it will let you know once it's done. Now that that's finished, it's told us what it's removed and then it says a restart is pending to finish the uninstallation. We can simply press Close and then restart the server. We can also use PowerShell to uninstall roles and features. So to do that, we can right click the Start menu and then press Windows PowerShell and then run it as an admin. And in here, we can run get-windows feature. And this will return a list of all of the roles and features that are installed on the server. So all we need to do is make a note of the name of the feature or the role that we want to uninstall. So in this case, I'll remove the DNS server. So then if I run uninstall-windows feature, and then type the name, so in this case it's DNS, and then press enter. It will then go through the removal process. It will tell us that the DNS server has been removed, and then we must restart the server to finish the removal process. So that's how you can remove roles and features from a Windows server.